we finally got the ROG Ally X and today we are going to open it up, dismantle and see what's the difference with the original Ally because I've been using this for the past year. Uh, we also did a dismantling video for this original Ally. Some parts of it are a bit difficult to change. For example, the face buttons here are not really that easily accessible but you can if you want to do so. Uh, I'm not sure what has changed on the Ally X, so let's open it up. I think the build is the same, so six screws. This one will be the popping out screw. I don't know what's it called, but the, the one that helps you open up the Ally. Yep, I was correct. This one is the screw that helps you pop open the Ally. So you can see there is a gap there. Okay, so now I can stuff in a pry tool, shimmy around the edge to open up the Ally X. Yeah. So, one thing I don't understand is uh, there is a ribbon cable on the Ally X, so don't yank it out once you open it up. Uh, this ribbon cable is for the buttons here which kind of makes sense if they don't want to put the two two back buttons on this part of the motherboard here it kind of opens up more space for the motherboard for the uh, battery and also the 2280 m.2 ssd so the ribbon cable you can take out easily so it's just one flap here open it then this whole thing you can carefully take it out there we go so Remember, don't yank out the back piece. You've got one connector here that connects to the main board. Now that we got everything open, I immediately see the utilization of space available on the ROG Ally X. It's much better than before. Let me, let me open up the original Ally so you can see the difference. This original Ally I've opened and closed way too many times. So it's like super loose. So you can see the OG Ally doesn't have a ribbon cable because the back button here, if you push it, it pushes this little plastic notch inwards. In turn, it interacts with this button here. This is the, the rear M1 and M2 buttons. So you've got one on each side. And now you can see that these two devices even though they are both allies the ally x is a lot different the fan size is definitely different uh, the new one has a lot more blades so you can see rog ally x the fan blades are like this a lot more dense than before but the original ally the fan blades are not as dense Fan size seems to be the same, but one thing that I realize is that the, the fan bearing on the Ally X is smaller compared to the original Ally, so you do get a lot more airflow that way as well. And one of the biggest upgrades is from an M.2 2242 to an M.2 2280. This one is for, well, not to say compatibility, more like you got more choices of SSD. So you've got M.2 2280 here. I want to peel the sticker off, but they do have a heat spreader. So this is the SSD. You can see this part. Not quite sure if it's a heat spreader, but definitely metal. So if you want to change the SSD, you can. I think you can also peel this out and stick to your new SSD, but just be careful, don't rip this up. I mean, don't, don't rip it apart. And then, uh, I'll leave the SSD somewhere here first. Uh, immediately, one thing I can see, the joystick sister board is a lot, not sister board, the daughter board is a lot smaller compared to the original airline. So let's take that out next. So there we go, the joystick is out. We have to take out this ribbon cable as well, easy. So this is the joystick, you can change the cap if you want. And then the entire sister board, uh, either you buy a new one 
or you resolder another joystick if this ever had any issues for you. So kind of straightforward. And then the next one, let's take out this joystick as well. Okay, so this is the right joystick. Again, same type of assembly, just different shape. And then same thing, we can change the cap if we want to and then resolder or buy another daughter board if you want to change the joystick. Another thing I realized is that the new LIX doesn't have this piece of plastic. I think this one is just for heat insulation but either way we can rip this out and then we can see the access to the APU itself. So both of them are using the Z1 Extreme, same performance overall. That's kind of a spoiler but I'll tell you now that you're gonna get the same performance overall. And um, if you want to service it, then you can just take out the fan. This is also the same. The fan is screwed in through here, here. Then you can rip out this fan. This is also two screws. For this one, the fan is also two screws here and then two more screws here. Now, um, the warranty sticker is also different. Warranty sticker on the LIX is only on one of the heatsink screw, the CPU block screw. But for the original LI, you have two. One on the screw for the CPU heatsink as well. And then another one on the... Technically, this screw is shared between the battery and also the fan. So there's one here. Talking about batteries, the ROG LI had a pretty small battery. So you only have... 41 hours split into two cells, so one here and one here. For this one, you have a much bigger battery. Still, I think it's two cells, so the split is in the middle, but they are much bigger than before. So this one is 81 hour, as you can see here. 81 hour, which is literally double the battery capacity of the original Li. One thing I realized is that these two triggers here are now stuck to the main part of the Li X, as opposed to the original Li the triggers are on the back piece. Not sure why the change, but okay. So if you want to again change the face buttons, unfortunately you will have to take out the entire motherboard, including the battery, which is quite a hassle as well. Same as the original Ally. So I don't think I want to do that. So in terms of repairability, I would say they are more or less the same. It's just that the new LIX has a lot more improvements. Like for example, they use all of the blank spaces that the original Ally had. Especially this bridge here. They finally make use of this empty bridge and fill it up with a big battery. And then reorganize some of the components on the motherboard and make it support an M.2 2280 SSD even though the included SSD doesn't actually take advantage of the 2280 form factor because as you can see here you got like two NAND chips and then all these are blank space the back has nothing at all if you buy some aftermarket SSD like 4 terabytes for example then you're gonna have two NAND chips here and then more NAND chips at the back so you can actually put those SSD in this LIX as well. Technically, it opens up the door for you if you want to put a high capacity SSD. That, that's the main point of 2280 SSDs. And then the fan is definitely different. We'll talk more about that in our full review. But you do have to be careful about the ribbon cable that is on the back piece connecting to this part here. So once you open up the LIX, do not rip out the back panel or you will damage the ribbon cable and then your two back buttons do not work. While we are on here, let's just quickly mention that the back buttons are now differently sized and also differently positioned. We'll talk more about this in our full review as well. So yeah, that's all for this video. Repairability, I would just rate them about the same. It's just a lot more options if you want to change out the SSD on the Ally X and also a much bigger battery which I truly appreciate. We will have our full review and comparison between the Ally X and the original Ally coming 
hopefully soon. So do subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.